Egypt, the New Kingdom, 1550 to 1070 BC. The New Kingdom is the third major division of Egyptian history. It was a time of artistic achievement, military might, prosperity at home, and prestige abroad. After the Middle Kingdom, a weak and divided Egypt was dominated by the Hyksos from Canaan for a hundred years. They ruled in Lower Egypt, the north. Around 1550, an upper Egyptian royal family rose and battled to oust the Hyksos and reunite the whole country. In 1532, they succeeded. Amos established the 18th dynasty and became the first pharaoh of the New Kingdom, Egypt's Golden Age. The New Kingdom. One of its early pharaohs, Tutmos I, conquered Palestine and the lands west of the Euphrates around 1500 BC during the rule of Amenhotep III. The New Kingdom, with its capital at Thebes, was rich and prosperous. Farmers and workers lived simply, but the nobility had a luxurious lifestyle. By law, men and women were equal, and women owned property. Women were able to follow one of four main professions, priestess, midwife, dancer, or mourner. Apart from the nobles, scribes and priests held the most important positions in Egyptian society. Akhenaten The strangest ruler was Amenhotep IV. He attempted to change Egyptian religion by replacing its many gods and complex traditions with worship of only one god, Aten. He changed his name to Akhenaten and built a new Egyptian at El Amarna, dedicated to Aten. His queen, Nefertiti, was not of royal birth and may not have been Egyptian. When Akhenaten died, the priests of the old gods regained control and worship of Aten was removed from every monument and record. His new city was abandoned, and it was as if it never existed. Prosperous Egyptians were buried with jewelry, pottery, and models showing activities such as baking, brewing, and fishing. These models provide vivid details of everyday life of the Egyptians. A new kingdom royal palace contained living quarters, but a large part would have been used for official duties. In a hall such as this, the pharaoh would award honors, receive ambassadors and dignitaries, and accept tribute. In ancient Egypt, the dead were embalmed and tightly wrapped in cloth, a process called mummification, so that they would live forever. The mummy was put inside a coffin and was often highly decorated. A solid gold mask would lay over the face of pharaohs such as Tutankhamun. His tomb was found in the Valley of the Kings in 1922, and the mummy with its sumptuous mask was revealed to stunned onlookers in late 1925. The End of Greatness Most new kingdom rulers were buried in the Valley of the Kings, and tombs cut deeply into the rock. But robbers still broke in. Only one tomb survived, almost intact, to modern times that of the boy king Tutankhamun, who succeeded Akhenaten, and died not yet 20 years of age. Egypt stayed powerful for a time, especially under Seti I and his son, Ramses II, the Great, of the 19th dynasty. Over time, rulers became weaker, priests took control, and finally Egypt fell to a succession of foreign invaders. The Greeks conquered Egypt and ruled for about 300 years. Finally, Egypt became a Roman territory. Her monuments fell to ruins. Her history and writings were forgotten. Other interesting facts about the Egyptians. Egyptian doctors treated their patients with a combination of medical practice and religious magic. Early Egyptian ships were flat bottoms suitable only for river transportation. Later they began to make larger, heavier ships with deeper rounded bottoms that could be used for sea travel. These ships greatly increased Egypt's ability to trade goods and the lands bordering the Mediterranean Sea. Hatshepsut was the daughter of a great Tutmos I and widow to the weak Tutmos II. After her husband's death, she took the throne and ruled Egypt in her own right. She wore male clothing and even traditional false beard worn by the pharaohs. Cahun was an Egyptian town built of mud bricks. The houses had two levels, plus a flat roof on which people spent much of their time. Trades and crafts occupied different areas in the town, as they do in modern Middle East cities. A pyramid was connected to Cahun by a causeway. On the edge of the town was a temple.